Hi guys, my name is Kat and today I'm here to talk about um, Brandy Melville basically. I am a huge Brandy Melville lover. I am a self-professed Brandy Melville addict. Um, this is Brandy, the necklace is Brandy, and this is Brandy. These are not, but um, Brandy actually does have something pretty similar to this skull ring. But anyway, um, I'm here today because even though I love Brandy Melville clothes and the style, um, I feel like there are some issues Brandy Melville has in terms of running their company. And I think that a lot of girls who do shop at Brandy Melville would agree with me on quite a few of these issues. So today I'm just going to be running through um, some of the kind of most annoying and troublesome points of Brandy Melville and the company policies. Really quick before I get started, I guess I should just summarize a little bit about Brandy Melville. They are an Italian company, or their clothes are made in Italy, and I believe that the company started in Italy, but the style is based off LA. So basically it's a really kind of chic, but also comfortable, like casual, slouchy kind of style. There are a lot of off-the-shoulder shirts, really cozy sweaters, um, just really cute basics, and a lot of kind of cotton pieces, but also incorporating crosses and, um, I don't know, popular kind of things like NYC, LA. They have cute little sayings on some of the shirts and they have really interesting prints and patterns. So it's just a really fun um, kind of vibe. And also I should mention that the clothes are one size fits all, or fits most, I guess, but that is controversial and we'll get into that later. So. Um, I think I'm going to begin with their return policy. Basically, the receipt specifies that you can return any of the clothes um, that haven't been damaged and haven't been worn, basically, within 14 days. So that's pretty much, I guess, a normal policy, except that it's like half of what you would usually get, which is 30 days. So it's 14 days, but you cannot get your money back. You can only get store credit. And the silly part is that when you get store credit, you can basically only use that store credit at the store you bought from. So that would cause a problem, obviously, for someone like me because um, my boyfriend lives in California and so I just visited him there and I went to a bunch of Brandy Melville's there. And if I was to return something, I would not be able to use the store credit back here in NYC where I live. So that in and of itself doesn't make any sense to me. That really limits basically what you can do with your store credit. And I'm not sure if you could, if let's say I bought something in Cali, if I could return it at the NYC store. I'm thinking that I could, but um, I think I'd have to double check on that. So hopefully I'll put something here if I discover what that kind of policy is. But Going off of that, um, I've noticed that pricing within Brandy Melville is really kind of um, mishmashed and like all over the place. There doesn't seem to be any standard price for one particular piece of clothing. And what I mean by that is if I saw a tank top or a shirt at, let's say, the, Irv the Irvine Spectrum Brandy Melville, which is in California, and I went to the Fashion Island Brandy Melville, which is pretty close by, but obviously just in a different location, there would be two different prices for that um, item of clothing. Not always, but um, I have explored the Irvine Spectrum Brandy Melville, I've explored the Fashion Island one and the Santa Monica one because, okay, clearly my addiction is coming out here in full force, but I've looked at all those and I have seen a difference in pricing for the same item. And the difference would be um, probably just a dollar to a few dollars, but to me, that kind of counts. I mean, why should you have to pay more for something just because it's at a more popular location? Um, that, to me, doesn't really show company integrity, and that's just kind of not really the way I would run something. Also with pricing, um, they change the prices of a particular item depending on what color or print you're getting it in. So, for example, the Reese scarf, um, that's a pretty popular scarf they have, and I myself just bought one. Um, I have a California haul up right before this video, I think, maybe two videos before, so if you want you can check that out and I'll link it down below. But I myself bought one and I noticed because I researched online and I looked in store, I checked the um, tags of all the scarves in store, 
that there was a pretty big discrepancy in terms of pricing amongst the scarves. So for example, my friend Annie bought one in an olive green color and that cost her $23. I bought one in the color Elm and that cost me $30. So I thought that was kind of unusual that the prices were so varied, but I did kind of get really in depth and look at all the um, ingredients, I guess, the breakdown of materials that went into each um, scarf depending on what color it was and I noticed that there were kind of different materials used depending on what color you got so I'm thinking that could also play a part in it but um, I do think that it's kind of crazy how something that's labeled the same name and is essentially the same type of style of scarf would be such a different price um, but even you know let's say not including the scarves just like tank tops I know for certain tanks if you get it with one like style of print or something or something put on it that another um, tank top wouldn't have, it would cost a different amount. So I just feel like that's kind of shady and a little bit weird. So yeah. So now I'm moving on to an issue that I myself have personally experienced and I know that a lot of other girls have experienced too. So what I'm talking about is getting wrong items when you order something from Brandy Melville online. Basically, um, my experience was I ordered a few things in the month of December and I got, okay, one of the items, basically they didn't have it all. They had it listed as being in stock on the site, so I ordered it, they charged me for it, and then a few days later I got an email saying that I was being refunded a certain amount. And it didn't tell me for which item, um, but I believe all it told me was that they did not have the item that I ordered in stock. So that sucked. Number two, I ordered a bunch of bracelets within that same order. I got all the bracelets, but one of the bracelets was a skull bracelet that I ordered in yellow. I didn't get it in yellow. I got it in gray. And that was it. <laughs> there was no note or anything about why that happened. I don't know if they're aware that they didn't give me the right color or if they perhaps didn't have it in stock and they just figured it'd be okay to give me one in a different color anyway. But that was what happened. So I just thought that was so ridiculous. I will say that in that order there was an item that I didn't order and it was a kind of Henley shirt. So it had a little collar was about three quarter length sleeves, kind of cute. Um, not what I would get if I was had an option to get something free myself, but cute enough, so um, I do wear it, but there was no note about why that was in there, so I'm thinking it was possibly because they wanted to kind of make it up to me and give me something free. Overall, I thought the experience was kind of just really frustrating and the whole thing was kind of ridiculous. So I know other girls have reported either taking weeks to get their items, getting their packages with certain items missing, um, getting wrong items. Uh, some girls have gotten other girls' packages apparently. And when I say some girls, I mean I've done my research online and I've seen like the lists of complaints and things like that. So um, yeah, basically there seems to be some kind of discrepancy within their whole system of how they ship out the orders and um, quality control, kind of checking that everything is correct and sending everything in a really timely fashion. So that is definitely something to be aware of and to kind of note. I should also say, um, going back to the return policy really quickly, that you cannot return items you've ordered online in store. So I know a couple companies have kind of policies like that. I believe American Apparel was like that until very recently. And to my knowledge, they have changed that policy. If that's not true, I'll put it here down below. But yes, so I find that that's really annoying just because it charges the customer for return shipping when they might have a brandy near them that they could possibly take that item to but are not allowed to because of this policy and thus would have to pay out of their own pocket for return shipping. So if that could be changed, I think it would really be an improvement. Also, you cannot return um, jewelry and intimates, I believe, no matter whether they've been worn or not. Another thing I want to touch on is kind of quality. When I do buy a sweater or a shirt from there, after just a few days, the sleeves will kind of just bottom out and totally like get really wide looking, which I personally don't like. Um, also, I should mention, 
I bought a ton of earrings from Brandy Melville, also in that same haul, which I'll link down below, you can see. But I bought a ton of earrings from them, and I recently tried on um, probably, I kind of mix and match them, so I've probably tried on about four of the studs. I'm sure you guys have like worn earrings before that have like kind of tampered with your ear holes and they've made them all like gross. Um, but they were like nasty feeling and it felt like that kind of thing where when you pinch them, it's like there's something in your ear, like some kind of gunk or something stuck in there. So it was pretty gross and it really hurt my ears a lot. They were stinging badly. So I kind of just like decided to give my ears like a couple days break and I still refuse to believe that it was the earrings that were causing it. Clearly, there was something really wrong with the way my ears were reacting to that kind of metal. Now, I know for a fact my ears don't like cheap, cheap metal because that happens. Like, my ear holes get all black and gross when I try to wear really cheap earrings. Like, from Forever 21, I think it's happened too. I think I am going to try to kind of cleanse all the earrings with maybe like some alcohol or some disinfectant and really clean the uh, tacks and then also give my ears time to heal like rub them with alcohol, probably make sure they're really clean and get them to like a really healthy state. And then I will try again. And hopefully I will be able to let you guys know how that goes. I might put like a little bubble or something here in a week or two to tell you guys how that went. Okay, so we're on our last couple of points. Um, in terms of girls complaining about Brandy Melville, there are a lot of girls who have kind of taken to YouTube like myself to kind of air out their own experiences and issues. And it seems that Brandy Melville picks and chooses who they apologize to. They don't seem to have an overall stance of, um, you know, we're sorry this happened to you. This is not company policy. This is not how we want to be seen. Um, we can, you know, assure you that we will try to not have this happen again. It doesn't seem like they do that across the board with every girl who complains. One girl who complained on YouTube, and I'll link her down below, she, I guess, had some issues with Brandy Melville, made a video about it, got a lot of views on it, and they saw this video and apologized to her and sent her free items. So I guess they asked her to pick out a couple items she liked and they sent it to her for free. She then made a follow-up video thanking them for that and completely, you know, taking away all the issues she said she had in the last video. So people were understandably kind of mixed about it, but honestly some people, and I'm in this party, was pretty upset about it because Brandy Melville kind of just offered her some free stuff and I mean who wouldn't want free stuff? I myself would pretty much faint if Brandy Melville offered to give me free stuff but at the same time you kind of have to ask yourself like is it right to kind of you know accept this and then you know have your opinions swayed because they apologized to you and you know kind of went out of their way to give you something free yes that kind of seems like the company is really going above and beyond to treat you well but you have to ask yourself is the motive completely pure is it is it really just to kind of say sorry and like make an even slate or is it a little bit for publicity another girl I'm not going to talk about this for long because she she ran into some legal issues with Brandy Melville about this she made a video about her experience at a Brandy Melville store, and I'm gonna use the word allegedly. She said that she um, allegedly went to the store and that they, someone told her she had to leave because of her size. Because this girl is um, more curvy and Brandy Melville, one size fits most, right? Not really. I mean, some of the clothes are kind of like loose and like really stretchy and um, I think, I'm pretty sure they could fit anywhere from like a small to maybe like large, maybe, maybe large, I'm not sure. Probably medium is honestly a safe bet to say, but um, some of the items, I think they could fit a large girl. But anything above like a size large, I'm really not sure. And so either way, um, this girl said that allegedly she was told to leave the store and humiliated. And so... Um, I'm not going to say too much more about it, but I'm going to link the video down below and Brandy Melville basically kind of took legal action against her. So they didn't really apologize like they did to the other girl and so there you can see kind of a discrepancy in their customer service and kind of the way they go about certain things. I'm thinking they didn't apologize because hers was kind of a claim of discrimination and that might have riled their feathers I guess, but 
Anyway, that's all. I'm leaving every per pertinent video that I'm talking about down below so you guys can look and check yourselves. Okay guys, so I've pulled up the Brandy Melville kind of about on my computer and I'm going to read certain parts to you. Um, being an original Italian brand inspired by LA lifestyle, Brandy Melville gained its fame among Hollywood celebrities including the Kardashians, Ashley Benson, Adrena Patrid, Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Miley Cyrus, Carly Kloss, and many others. And a little bit after that it says, Satisfying the customer is a priority within the concept of Brandy Melville. Whenever entering the store, every customer feels at ease and always leaves with a warm feeling. Now, that I take issue with because clearly that's not true. Um, I definitely know that there are tons of girls out there who would not say that was the feeling they felt while entering and leaving the store. And I can tell you that like probably thousands of girls felt very unsatisfied with Brandy Melville's Cyber Monday sale. Now, Brandy Melville, I gotta say it, they have shown that they ignore their customers. Um, they kind of, they just seem to have an issue with taking accountability for kind of certain screw-ups or the things that they've done. And, um, you know, there's there's kind of just some some type of discrepancy within their company where they can't seem to take full responsibility for for the things that they do sometimes and um, you know it doesn't show integrity to me it doesn't show integrity for the brand it doesn't show integrity for how they run the company now I'm going to go into what happened with their Cyber Monday sale um, Black Friday they had 30% off in stores and that was an amazing deal I left my house probably at midnight or a little before because it was a midnight to midnight sale and it was every Brandy Melville, I believe. So I got there around 1 a.m. and there was already a pretty sizable line outside the store in Soho. That's the only store there is in NYC. It took me 25 minutes to get into the store and when I got in, well, I'll just tell you guys, I had to kind of pee because <laughs> I was waiting for a while. When I got in, it was absolutely chaos. It was actually kind of scary to me. Um, there were so many people packed in the, into the store, far above, honestly, probably the healthy occupancy rate. And it was just, I couldn't breathe. Like it felt so hot. It felt so sweaty. And there were just people everywhere. You couldn't, I couldn't even feel like I could grab a sweater. That's how many girls were literally just like up against it, like in front of me and back of me. And there were so, there were like parents, there were girls, there were older people. Like, there was just so many people there and I had to use the bathroom. So I asked to use the bathroom. I was told, actually, if you're a customer, you can't use the bathroom. Okay. Um, so I left, I had to leave, had to try to find a bathroom and people were making up all kinds of bullshit to get me to not use their bathroom. So I went literally like probably seven or eight blocks, finally found a bathroom, used the bathroom, walked all the way back to the brandy. The line had doubled and it just, I couldn't do it, so I just left. Got back in the train, went home, got home at like 3 a.m. or something, and called it a night. I said, forget it, because honestly, with the line that had developed in the store to pay, that line was like, just, it went to the back of the store, and it curved around, and it was a hellish nightmare. Like, I would have had to wait an hour to two hours to pay. It was just ridiculous. Now I heard other, there's a picture they have actually that they put on their Instagram. They seem pretty happy that they had such a long line. If you look at the people's faces in the picture, though, those people are not happy. Now, I know what can you expect if you're going to offer such a great discount. I know lines are going to form, but at the same time, I feel like there's kind of a better way to do it, in my opinion. Honestly, I'm just saying, if I was to run a company, and I don't know how expensive this would be, but maybe get some porta potties and put them outside your stores. If you've only got a few in the United States, I think you can afford to do that. Or... I, I went to a restaurant once that was rated as one of the, not once, recently, that was rated in one of the top 10 of Yelp, and th that restaurant had a really ridiculously long line, but you know what, they sent people out to kind of give people free samples, they had onion rings, they had all kinds of yummy stuff, you could take, you could take food and they would kind of keep it like a, re a relaxing atmosphere, and cute stickers and things like that, and they just made it a more enjoyable line experience. 
I believe Brandy Melville could do that. I really do. I think that obviously they wouldn't pass out food, but they could pass out, this is somewhat of a stretch, this would be a great company that did that, but they could pass out maybe free rings or cute little accessories as just a one-time thing for a Black Friday sale. I think they could make it happen. Um, but at the least, you know, have some porta potties, or maybe they could have some snacks or something to keep people from passing out. Because I heard some pretty terrifying stories that girls passed out on certain lines, firefighters had to be called. Um, there were lines where people waited four hours, and by the time they got inside, of course, there were no more sweaters. Of course, there were no more, you know, a bunch of stuff they were probably looking for. So that was kind of ridiculous in terms of what happened Black Friday. But people like myself, were hoping for a Cyber Monday sale and they got one. The thing is, I was we weren't notified until literally, I think it was the night before Cyber Monday that there would be a sale. So I instantly got on my computer, started looking at exactly what I wanted, really trying to calculate, see how much it would cost. I had a budget, I was just, you know, doing my thing, just making sure everything was going right, kind of picking what I wanted. Thing is, you can't put stuff in their cart, in your cart on Brandy Melville, the site, because it empties within like half an hour. So I got kind of nervous because I realized if there were so many girls showing up to shop in store on Black Friday, how many girls are going to come to the site? And have they properly backed up their server and gotten all the support they need for their site to not crash? I was right. Their site crashed. Their site crashed, and that night, as it was approaching closer and closer to midnight, the site started slowing down, it started completely wigging out, and at first I thought it was my internet, but I had somebody else go on their computer and try to look for things on the site, and they encountered the exact same problems, where the page just wasn't loading, you had to keep refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and doing all kinds of tricks to try to get it to work. Everything was slowed down if you tried to add something to your cart. Just believe me, the page switching from one to the other would take like 10 minutes, and then some, most of the time it wouldn't even go to the cart page, it would just once again like break. So that, I was persistent because <laughs> I'll just say I didn't have anything to do the next day. So I said I will be damned if I don't get something from the site. I mean, because it was a great deal, who wants to pass up a great deal, you know? Not everybody's got unlimited money to buy whatever they want. So I kept trying and trying and believe me, once it got to midnight, you should just give up. Like literally, I wish someone had just said to me, just give up. Basically, it was many, many, many hours into the Cyber Monday day. People were complaining. Instagram was the main kind of, honestly, discussion board slash forum I was seeing because I was checking their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram page. And on the picture where they had Cyber Monday sale, get ready, all us girls were just honestly asking what's happening to the site, what's happening to the site, can you please tell us what's Are going we going to be able to order stuff, you know, can somebody answer our questions? No one was responding anywhere. It took many hours into Cyber Monday when they put a really cutesy little sign up like, oh, sorry, we had so much traffic to our site that our servers broke. We'll be on it and get a new server up ASAP. That was it. That was their little comment. So um, they said they'd get their new server up quickly, so I was kind of thinking two, three hours. It was probably two or three days later that you could honestly start using their site like even near normal. So people were asking for a redo sale. People were asking for a redo sale and people were pissed because everyone's time was wasted. Um, the whole issue was never addressed properly as it should have been on any of their um, social media sites. Honestly, it was probably talked about just a couple times on each one and the whole thing was they tried to just blow it over, smooth it over, kind of act like it didn't happen, be really cheerful about it, and that was it. So people wanted a redo sale and they said they were going to have one. Never did they announce when it would be or what the discount would be, what the code word was that you had to put on the site. I kept trying to check when would that take place. I kept trying to look for any answers, any information they would have put on any of their sites as to when that redo sale would be. It was never announced. And it wasn't until, I think, two, one or two weeks later, I'd been going on their like Facebook page religiously looking that I, I'd been asking probably four or five times because I'm not, I'm not a customer who likes to be ignored. I mean, if there's something that you said was going to happen, I expect for that to happen. And so I kept asking amongst many other girls, when will this take place? When will this be? When is your redo sale? This is ridiculous. Finally, some girl responded to me 
their redo sale was last Friday. If you had called up their phone number and asked, they would have told you that the the um, the code word was redo 30 or you know something or other 30 and you would have been able to get 30% off. I'm like, are you serious? Like I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. Like how, how, first of all, how is someone gonna tell me, oh, if you just call them and ask at this point or you know, in this time frame, they would have told you, duh. Oh, duh, excuse me. To me, a company should be updating every single one of their pages to the public, which is what those pages exist for, to communicate with the public, to interact with the customers and tell them, this is when our redo sale is gonna be. They just kept ignoring everybody. And it's not, I was already hunting them down on many, many pages. How was I to know that you were supposed to call and find out this magical day and magical code word? Um, I was kind of afraid to call truthfully because there were girls who reported calling certain stores or calling the customer service line. And apparently you're just getting a really negative response. Because I know um, Cyber Monday, I'm pretty sure, I know their customer service was probably overloaded and maybe got a little bit testy, but either way, um, that was when the Cyber Monday sale, redo sale was apparently on a Friday, which I mean, a lot of other girls, I would show you guys the kind of um, questions and comments that are being left in that time frame, but Brandy Melville actually has wiped away um, sort of after I think November 10th to the beginning of December, all that information, all comments that were left, all statuses they posted seem to be gone now. I believe they did that for a reason, but I'm going to show you guys here and you're going to be able to see that everything from I think November 10th to that date, the only things you can see are photos that they've added to an album. That's the only thing. Clearly, I can tell you that there was tons of activity during that point because of the whole Cyber Monday fiasco and Black Friday also people complaining. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, they I guess they made that invisible or maybe only they can see it. Either way, you guys can't see it. Um, I, I myself had written basically an essay of a comment reprimanding them, asking them how they could do this to their customers, saying how ridiculously unprofessional it was and what kind of integrity did their company have. They got about 50 likes and a lot of people kind of rallying off that comment and piggybacking on it. So all that's gone now. Um, but, you know, it was basically kind of to me a black stain on Brandy Melville and just kind of demonstrated to me how they treated their customers. I can tell you it was kind of insulting because Brandy Melville kept putting up new Instagram pictures and putting up new posts and statuses, kind of tantalizing people with these new items that they had in stock that they couldn't order. Um, and they were actually ignoring people. People were saying, myself included, why are you putting these pictures? Like, why can't you answer our questions instead of just continuing to post these pictures? Clearly you're on your Instagram, the company Instagram. Clearly you're updating it. Clearly you can see what we're writing. Could we just get some kind of answer? Could we get some kind of acknowledgement? Could we get some kind of response? So um, that was incredibly frustrating. And I've put off making this video for a while because I felt that much negativity and tension about this whole thing, about Brandy Melville, that I kind of didn't even want to get to that place and talk about it and get myself worked up again because it just makes you feel kind of cheated. But there you go, um, I've kind of put it out there, given you guys um, my breakdown as best as possible. And I'm just going to review my little notes one more time, make sure I haven't left anything out. Um, so I believe that's it guys. I think you're all probably wondering, will I continue to shop at Brandy Melville? For honestly, during that time period, I was incredibly frustrated and I said, no, I'm not going to shop there. And a lot of other girls said that too. The thing is, I feel that there is nothing comparable to Brandy Melville anywhere, and I know some girls do, but I don't. To me, Brandy Melville has that free people kind of style, which you guys should know is very pricey. A sweater that looks like this at free people would probably cost $98, something like that. Um, it's got a really unique, I mean, it sounds like they're tuning their own horn, but it is kind of true that they have a very unique kind of blend of styles and elements, and to me, it's just absolutely everything I love. So I'm not going to be stopping shopping there. I believe that there could be a point in the future where I'm pushed to stop shopping there. But as for now, they will still have my dollars, unfortunately. So, okay, guys, thanks so much. I hope this was helpful to you. Feel free to start a discussion down below and kind of 
talk about it because I know on Cyber Monday, a lot of us customers were actually kind of helping each other out and trying to share our own experiences and help other people who had similar questions as us or things we had experience with because we weren't getting answers from Brandy. So we kind of tried to supplement all our own knowledge to help each other. So yeah, um, feel free to just kind of start a discussion down below and yeah. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.